and former Czech president Václav Havel. Havel and Tute both suggested that Liu Xiaobo be nominated to the prize, and Lech Walesa declared himself willing to come to Norway to accept the prize on behalf of him. Many others, like last year's winner, U.S. President Barack Obama, have requested that China release Yu Xiaobo. As have prize winners like Dalai Lama, Frederick Wilhelm de Klerk, and Mohammed El Baradei. Havel, who has been suggested as a prize winner several times, and Bishop Tutu, has declared that China now has a unique chance to choose a new direction and thereby show that they are becoming an important world power. The city hall is beautifully decorated with 10,000 flowers, many of them flown in from the Netherlands and Colombia. The flowers this year are chrysanthemum, orchids, carnations, anthurium, bamboo, and reindeer moss. China has four flowers, which are called the four gentlemen, and those are chrysanthemums, and orchids, and bamboo, many of which are represented today. The artist Gri Frost has designed this year's Peace Pipe Diploma, which hopefully will be given to Liu Xiaobo, together with the Nobel Godel, before too long. This is not the first time a Nobel Peace Prize winner has been unable to come to Norway to receive the prize for political reasons. And here is Denzel Washington, the actor, who will be one of the hosts for the uh, Nobel concert tomorrow night. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is always is also present in the in the hall today. She's a Democrat leader in the House of Representatives in Washington, in the United States. So it isn't the first time a Nobel Peace Prize winner has been unable to come to Norway to receive the prize for political reasons. In 1991, Aung San Suu Kyi, two sons, Alexandra and Kim, received the prize on behalf of their mother. The Burma Junta stopped the prize winner from going to Oslo. In 18, 1983, Lech Walesa's wife, Danuta, and son, Bogdan, came to the prize ceremony. The solidarity leader, did not go, solidarity leader did not go to Oslo because he feared he would not be allowed back into Poland. In 1978, Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egypt's President Anwar al-Sadat shared the prize. Only Begin came to the ceremony. Sadat gave as his reason for not coming that he had other engagements. Some people believed that he did not want to stand on the rostrum with Begin. In 1975, the Russian Peace Prize winner Andrei Sakharov was not allowed to go to Oslo, and his wife Yelena Bonner came here on his behalf. The German pacifist Karl von Ossietzky was not allowed to go to Oslo for the 1935 Peace Prize. Hitler denied any German to receive a Nobel Prize during his years in power. The main room of the city hall is beautifully decorated by Norwegian artists. On the walls we can see Fritjof Nansen here, pole explorer, humanist, and himself a Peace Prize recipient in 1922. The author Björn Stjerne Björnsson is another well-known Norwegian depicted on the walls here. He sat on the first Nobel Committee and received the Nobel Prize himself in literature in 1903. Outside the, the city hall, everybody is waiting for the king and queen to arrive down from the palace.
the king and queen are always present at this peace prize ceremony. Usually also the um, crown prince and the crown princess, but they are abroad right now. So this year, the king and queen are here. They are welcomed by the chair of the Nobel Committee, Mr. Torbjörn Jagland, and uh, the head of the Nobel Institute, Geir Lundestad, King Harald V, and Queen Sonja. So inside the hall, about 1,000 people are waiting for what is going to happen during this ceremony, an historic ceremony as far as these uh, peace, peace Prize ceremonies are concerned. Many of the Chinese dissidents that are here as guests today have come, a far, far, come from, from far off to be here this morning. The king and queen's uh, entrance is uh, heralded by trumpeters from the king's guard. This special and important peace prize ceremony will be opened by Norwegian soprano Marita Kvarving Sølberg and pianist Howard Gimse. They will perform Solveig's song from Ibsen's Pegint with music by Norwegian composer Edvard Grieg. Sölberg has appeared in operas and sung with great orchestras in Germany, Denmark, Russia, United States, Israel, as well as in Norway. The well-known Norwegian pianist Hovre Gimse has played at several Peace Prize ceremonies here in the hall before. <laughs> 